Hello, good people of YouTube, Mountbatten here, and today we are reviewing a ship that I definitely should have gotten a long time ago, and that is the Tier 10 Premium French Destroyer, the Marceau. Now, the Marceau is essentially a Kleber with smaller main battery guns with a higher DPM. That is, in a nutshell, what Marceau is, and she is quite the little, well, wonderful gunboat. A ship that I definitely should have gotten, since I do like gunboats quite a lot. My favorite destroyers are the Kalbrosk and the and the Kleber. So this is right up my alley, and uh, it just took me well, took me getting the ship in a Santa container to finally get it. She came out for coal, and I was saving up for her, but then, as things go, they add more coal ships, and I get the newest one to review by the time I have enough coal. So that's why it's taking me so long to finally get to the Marceau. So today we're going to look at her quirks and features and her statistics and characteristics and such and talk about how she plays in the game and if I would recommend this ship to you guys, which, I mean, honestly, I, I would have recommended her for quite some time already, but now that I've played her, I can give you guys a better, a better idea of what she feels like to play. So starting off, as always, with her armor. Oh, do keep in mind, I am talking about the stats and such with Philip Equipped. Uh, it's the commander I had on the background in the footage that you're watching. And this is maybe not the ideal destroyer build. It's pretty much hard to run on Kleber, and it seems to be working so far on Marceau. So this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about her stats and such. Alright, but anyway, her armor. Armor isn't always super important on destroyers, unless it's like a Kalbaros. But it's 19 millimeters all the way around. Superstructure and turrets are between 10 and 13. So... No, of course, it's the destroyer. Armor isn't everything. And she does get the French damage saturation gimmick, where essentially they take about half less damage from other ships because they get saturated faster than other ships as well. And that is working again now, thankfully. She gets 25,900 hit points with Phillips Improved Survivability Expert Skill Equipped, which I would recommend you run SC on any tier 10 DD, well, any DD in general, just about. And her guns. Her guns are, of course, the main difference between her and the Kleber. They have a reload time of 2.9 seconds. They want 80 and 6.9 seconds. They have a maximum dispersion of 110 meters. And a maximum range of 13.8 kilometers. Her HE has a 9% chance of starting a fire. Does 1,850 maximum damage. And can pin 21 millimeters of armor. And has an initial velocity of 808 meters a second. Her AP does a maximum damage of 2,450 and has an initial velocity of 808 meters a second as well. Now, the uh, ballistics on the Marceau, out past about 12 kilometers, they get really floaty. So you might be wondering, why did I build into a DD with floaty shells for range? Well, because the sheer output of shells at that range, you can still very much farm island camping uh, cruisers and definitely BBs as well. So when you get in a good position where they're not really moving or they're just, you know, maybe bumping back and forward a little bit, you can still rain down shells on them and it's great for farming damage off of those ships. But if you're trying to hit a moving target, 12 kilometers is about the limit for the Marceau. So, eh, you know, I think it's worth it just for the ability to, again, punish those island camping ships and such. Torpedoes, she gets 4x3 of the 550mm torpedoes. They have a range of 9 kilometers. They travel at 60 knots to do a maximum damage of 14,833. And they are detectable from 1.3 kilometers away. She does get depth charges. And, I mean, depth charges, they're getting buffed in terms of damage, I believe, in 11.0, but some reason are being removed, so, you know, can't really tell how well they, they're going to perform. But she does have depth charges, which is great when you spot a submarine, especially on a destroyer this fast. <laughs> Can get over there and absolutely murder them. A she has an A rating of 65, and um, yeah, not definitely not an AA cruiser, and I mean AA cruiser, AA destroyer. But if needed, she can contribute to planes being shot down, and her main battery guns are dual purpose. Maneuverability: she has a top speed of 46.2 knots without her speed boost active and without Phillips Commander skills being popped. She has a maximum turning circle of 740 meters and a rush shift of 4.8 seconds. Consistent with the build that I have on her, she's down to 7.8 kilometers. And 
that's pretty big in somewhat range for a tier 10 DD, but I mean, it's a gunboat DD. You don't really care if you're being seen. You you're, you should be shooting anyway. But 7.8 kilometers is, I believe, with just the um, module and not the commander skill. All right, so speaking of modules and such, her consumables, she gets, of course, damage con. You get DFAA, and you get an engine boost. Engine boost increases your ship speed by 20% for 180 seconds, reloads in 85.5 seconds, and you get three charges. And there's no way to swap DFAA, DFAA out for anything else. And she does not get a heal because of the French damage saturation gimmick. All right, so the Marceau. This is a fantastic little DD, and it's been quite the uh, the blast playing her. Of course, like I've mentioned before, for competitive, Marceau's a very, 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 very good pick. She's a very fast DD, very rapid firing guns here. Oh, and she doesn't get the um, reload booster because you already have a freaking <laughs> 2.9 second reload time on your 127s. So the 127s without IFHE, of course, they can only pin 21 millimeters of armor, but with the sheer amount of shells that you're going to be throwing at the enemy ships, first off, for DDs, you're going to murder them. Like, absolutely murder them if they pop up on you. I mean, even me, I'm not, I'm not the best DD player. I'm the guy that plays the running gun DDs, you know, going up and down the side of the map, just trying to spam down cruisers and battleships and um, preferably DDs that aren't also gunboats but for the more so if you do run, a, run across other, other gunboat DDs unless you eat like a torpedo or you just go full potato you are going to absolutely murder them especially if you can make sure that the um, the contact lasts and you can do that because you're in a freaking Marceau with a without speed boost, a 46.9 kilometer, um, not not top speed. So you are, oh, sorry, 46.2, not top speed. So you get to dictate the terms of the engagement once they've been spotted, because they can't really run away from you unless they're in another Marceau or like Apollo Emilio or something like that. So she's great for anti DD duties, and like I mentioned, she's also great for farming down ships that are stationary that are camping beside behind islands or battleships that are relatively still in the back even from you know for almost 14 kilometers away with your guns you won't have any, any problems just absolutely melting them down now of course with philip on who i just got um actually last night on stream after i'm recording this philip's got quite a few commander skills which help out the marceau quite a bit First off, he gets his Improved Survivability Expert skill, which you get 400 HP per, per tier instead of the normal uh, boost. And he also gets his Rampant Talent, which where when you get a Devastating Strike, it decreases your reload time by 5%. And given the torpedoes on the Marceau, you can easily Torp Rush, uh, maybe if there's a cruiser behind an island or a battleship behind the island, with the speed of the Marceau, you can easily get in there and just dump on them with those torpedoes and then run away very, very, very quickly. So you could easily get that. And then you also get his Fire and Fury talent, where once you capture a, a key area, so like a cap point or a ring on, um, on um, Epicenter or I believe the boost on the um, arms race mode, you get a 1% increase to your fire chance on your shells. So a destroyer that has very rapid fiery HE spammy guns that is incredibly fast, when it caps, it gets an increase on its fire chance. So you can easily just rush it to a cap, grab the cap, and now you have a 10% fire chance. On stream, I think I got it up to 13% just by running around the map and just capping caps, which is a ridiculous fire chance to have on guns that reload in 2.9 second space. Then you add on top, of course, adrenaline rush stuff, and if you can get your rampant skill to be popped, and oh my god, this is going to, it's crazy. But we're not done yet. Philip also has a surge forward talent, where when you get 2 million HP of potential damage, you get an 8% boost to your ship speed. <laughs> Oh my god, so you can see how Philip, if you get Philip, he's, of course, just sla sla slap him on Marceau, and you're going to go far. Um, yeah, so, of course, the ship's also a great throttle juker, which I love. Um, it's one of my more favorite play styles for DDs, which is, of course, where you 
pop your speed boost, you know, you go forward a little bit, go back a little bit, then you go maybe three quarters ahead, then maybe one quarter ahead, then full ahead, you know, you play through the throttle and you get ships to shoot at you and miss and you rack up potential damage and of course the more that the enemy ships are shooting at you, the less the enemy ships are shooting at your team. So you're taking away shells that could go to your team and pretty much pseudo tanking for your team ship is great for that great for rushing down a flank where the enemy team isn't paying attention you can get on their side you can get behind them then you can harass the enemy team's cruisers and battleships after absolutely stomping on their dds because what are they going to do to our marceau like the, the ship is ridiculously fast it's got the improved french damage saturation it's got amazing guns amazing fire rate it's just an amazing ship all around and the real big pick up for this ship is that this is a coal ship. This is 100% a free ship. You can save up your coal and get this ship for free. It's it's great. It's amazing. A wonderful destroyer. And I would recommend that you guys pick her up. If I had to give this ship a numerical rating, I'd give this ship a 9 out of a 10. This is a fantastic destroyer that I do believe many of you should pick up. With its strengths being its speed, the uh, fire rate on its guns, its engine boost, uh, it, you can put Philip on it and really push the ship to its max. <laughs> um, its acceleration and deceleration is, is fantastic. The only real downside of this ship is that it doesn't have a heal, but you do get the French damage saturation to compensate for that. But still not having a heal in, a, in, a, in tier 10 where, you know, there's sap now, there's shoot. Anything could go wrong. You can make a mistake and get and lose half of your health where in other tier 10 destroyers like the Kabarosk you can at least get some of your health back can't do that here and plus, plus past 12 kilometers the shell ballistics are pretty darn floaty but that's not the end of the world either so you can see the two downsides that I can think of for this ship aren't um, aren't really big so there's not a lot of downsides to this ship the only thing is you have to get used to playing a run and gun destroyer and get used to throttle juking but if you can get that down which is a very simple which is a very simple um play style to get down you'll be doing well in the marceau so hope you guys enjoyed my marceau review and or marceau video i'm not sure if i've labeled this a review just yet but anyway hope you guys enjoyed today's video and hope you guys have a wonderful 2022 oh uh, yeah 2022 almost said 2021 again but if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about the Marceau, if you're going to plan on picking her up, if you have her already. Anyway, hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. Hope to catch you guys. No, a wonderful Saturday. Yeah, it's Saturday. Have a wonderful weekend. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.